Today we're announcing that Android is extending to wearables. To bring this vision to life, we're working with consumer electronics manufacturers, chip makers, and fashion brands who are committed to fostering an ecosystem of watches in a variety of styles, shapes, and sizes. All right, let's take a look. All the information you need when you start your day is right there. Today's weather, when your next meeting begins, how long it'll take to travel there, and important updates. Think about the times you need information most urgently. The stuff you care about moves with you from place to place. So you never miss out on the important stuff. You can respond naturally just by speaking. Reply, thanks, we'll get you something from New York. Or ask a question to get what you need. Okay, Google, Toy Store is nearby. Let's take a look at how developing for Android Wear is different than developing traditional Android apps. One key benefit of Android Wear is giving people the information they need right when they need it. We realized that your Android device already does a lot of this through notifications, so we decided to start by bringing those same notifications to your wrist. I'll show you what I mean. Here I have my Nexus 5. I've installed the Android Wear preview app on it, and I've paired it to my emulated device. I have a small app which creates notifications with different styles. Notice how the notification appears on Android Wear automatically. I can update the notification, and the changes are immediately bridged over. Even better, I can dismiss the notification from my Android Wear device, and it'll disappear from my phone. This is a really powerful concept. So let's talk about how to get started developing for Android Wear. At this point, you'll have your development environment set up and ready to go. Let's look at some code for an app that invites people to events. It probably looks really familiar, right? There isn't anything specific to Android Wear here. I'm just using the notification compat class from the Android support library to show a notification. I've also added an action to my notification so I can tell my app that I'll be attending the event. When a user presses reply on a phone or tablet, you would take them to a screen that would let them compose and send the reply, like this. Let's look at the code to build such a notification. First, we use the standard notification compat builder to create the notification. We'll omit the reply action for now, since we'll add it later. Next, we'll build the reply action's pending intent. This intent will be started when the user presses the reply button on the phone. Note that the intent should be for an activity because otherwise, pressing the action won't close the notification shade. Finally, we'll use the Remote Input Builder and Action Builder classes to construct an action that'll be capable of receiving voice input. So be sure to check out the documentation and sample code in the developer preview on developer.android.com. Thanks, and happy coding.